Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will help you learn more about the deployment process within a project. The deployment process is what you define in a project which the Octopus Deploy server will run to deploy your software. This video will start with a look at a pre-existing instance to see what a deployment process could look like. It will then walk you through how to add a step to your deployment process on your instance. Let's start by looking at an existing deployment process. You can access the deployment process in a project by clicking on the process button in the left menu. A deployment process can be as complicated or as simple as you'd like. You can have notifications, manual interventions, which pause the deployment until it is approved, along with rolling deployments. You can also configure steps to run only in specific environments. It is easy to feel overwhelmed when looking at all the possibilities. The recommendation is to start simple and then go complex. The simplest deployment we can do is run a script which prints Hello World. Before walking you through that, this video assumes you already have a project created. If you do not have a project created, click on the annotation button, which just appeared in the top right corner of this video. In addition, links can be found in the description below. Let's get started on creating a simple Hello World deployment process. First, we will want to navigate to the process overview screen. Once we get to the process overview screen, we will want to click on the Add Step button in the top right corner. You will be presented with a page which displays all the possible categories. You can click on individual categories to see the possible steps. Entering a name in the search bar will search all the categories. Enter in Run a Script to find the step we're looking for. Click the Add button to add that step to the deployment process. Let's start by giving this step a name. Now we will want to decide on the execution location. We don't have any deployment targets defined right now, so let's choose Run on the Octopus Server. Your screen might say Run once on a worker instead of Run on the Octopus Server. This typically happens for Octopus Cloud users. In that case, you'll want to choose Run once on a worker and ensure the default worker pool is selected. The same core concept will apply, we don't have a target, and we just want to run a simple Hello World script. Now, let's scroll down to the script section. Leave the script source as inline source code, as we want to keep this as simple as possible. Then, we'll want to enter in write host hello world into the inline source code text box. Click the Save button to save your changes. If you want to go back and view the entire deployment process, click the text Deployment Process towards the top of the screen. That's it! You've created your first deployment process. Now it is your turn to create your first deployment process. Here are some recommendations to keep in mind as you do that in your own instance. When starting out, don't worry about all the possible options. Start with the simplest deployment process possible for your application. Add one step at a time and then test after each change. Use concise, meaningful names for your steps. Brevity goes a long way. Links to additional resources, as well as links to contact support, can be found in the description below. Thank you for watching.